Okay, today this video is about um, power steering, pump, connection between a Heights or um, a Mustang to rack and pinion. So if you're doing an LS swap, and you you got a, a Mustang two front end a Heights um, or or Fat Cats or there's there's a lot of them out there even just a regular uh, Ford Mustang two um, rack and pinion and you have a LS engine in my case I have a LS one out of a out of a Corvette okay and you you're gonna connect up your your power steering pump to the to the uh four rack and pinion um it's it's um a few things that 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 you need to know okay first of all um this type of pump um the ls style pump in this application is i believe it's called a type 2 pump not a saginaw so gm um small block chevys usually they have a, the older styles of saginaw that has a reservoir that's right on the the pump itself. In this case, this is a Type Two, um, in a later model with a what they call this is a remote uh, reservoir, which means it's just located in a different location away from the pump. And what you see right there, that's that's the return line coming from off of the rack. And then over here, right there, right back there. What that is is that's that's your line that's going um, uh, from the from the pump down to the the rack itself. So that's the that's the main pressure line. That's a pressure lot pressurized hose. So I took a factory hose and then I had an AN6 uh, connection machined onto the other end that would thread into the rack. OK, and the return hose is not pressurized. So all you need to do is uh, just connect to the rack and then come up, you know, and you can do a, a, um, a, a connector like like so. But you can't just uh, connect from the power steering pump down to the rack just the way it is. You're going to have to take this out and to take that 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 fitting um out and then there's a there's a nut that's right behind there you're going to take that out and you'll see a a pressure a pressure switch in there or, or a pressure valve rather and you're going to have to get that pressure valve from a place called uh tough stuff t u f f stuff s t u f f and they'll have a ask for a, a 850 psi you'll need a 850 psi um, uh, uh, pressure, pressure valve. If you just hook it up just the way it is, you're going to blow out all the seals, all them seals in the rack and pinion. You're going to blow them out because a type two, um, pump in a LS engine, uh, produces about right at around 1300 PSI and a Ford, uh, Mustang two rack will only take around 850 to I think max 870 uh, PSI. So if you try to hook up that 1300 and even if you do get a, a line made and you, you, you hook everything up, you're going to blow out all the seals. So um, like I said, just a little information um, that you're going to need when you doing a, a Mustang two front end with a LS uh, swap and connecting up your power steering pump. All right. Like sub subscribe and, uh, and follow. All right. Thanks for watching my video.